Hello everyone. I just want to make one quick video showing basically what is the most annoying bolt when removing an Evinrude lower unit. So to get the lower unit off, there are four bolts. Two on this side and two on the other side. And there is one bolt that goes in here. Now, you can see it comes out of this hole. And unlike these bolts, which are about that long, the bolt that goes through here is probably about that long. Now, that's a huge difference, and in multiple situations I've found that that bolt has broken. So, so as you twist it, it goes so far into the top housing that it just snaps. You remove it, but essentially the bolt snaps. There are a couple of strategies you can do to avoid this. For one, I recommend starting by removing this bolt, because if you loosen any of these bolts, it will now kind of create stress in this area here, so the, two, the housing will be starting to split, making it essentially a little more difficult or harder to unscrew this bolt, which is very, very long. So any kind of bending or movement will affect it greatly. And um, so that basically, that, that's the main thing. Get some WD-40, get some something in this hole here, and try to get this bolt out. Because it, if you break it, it's... The one nice thing is it's not the end of the world because you still have four bolts holding the housing here, and you can always kind of drill something to keep it there. But overall, even then, with four bolts, technically the bolt will still work fine. But um, this is just a quick tip on something to avoid, because often it's easy to rush, these bolts are always easy to remove, and then you're like, oh wait, I have one more left, and this one just doesn't want to come out, and, and then it turns and snaps, and that's it. I've seen this happen more than once, so just keep an eye on it. Just, just remember that if you remove it first, you really don't want to cause stress on this bolt by splitting any other part of the lower unit. That way you can have, hopefully get it out easily.